new art. Paint the Rob way. This week I did a new portrait of Daniel Bryan. Uh, he's a little bit popular right now with the WWE audience, so it's always fun doing one of them. Uh, this was more of a conceptual piece than what I normally do. Also, uh, the subject of it is quite a bit smaller on the piece than what I would normally do. Uh, again, you know, just pushing myself further, trying to do new things. Uh, so, of course, with it being that much smaller, uh, every little stroke that I do with the brush has to be just right, or, uh, you know, it's, it's just not going to look correct. Uh, so there's not a lot of room for error at this, but again, it's a challenge that I like. Uh, doing watercolor first uh, on the figure, and I'm going to bring in a little bit of ink in the background. Uh, also, the background is a little more conceptual. Instead of filling the whole piece in, you'll see that it's kind of a wavy shape that goes throughout uh, the piece. Um, you've probably heard me humble brag a couple times about how a few weeks back I was uh, backstage at one of WWE's house shows to get a lot of these signed by the superstars. And uh, uh, it was it was cool to find out that uh, Brian is just as humble and cool in person as uh, you would hope that he is. Really nice, you know, welcoming guy. Uh, had nice things to say about the work. Um, yeah, it was cool talking with him. Uh, also, you'll see uh, the full shape of the background coming in there. Uh, Mark Henry uh, told me that it was kind of an ink blot test of what someone might see in the piece. Uh, I'll leave that up to you on what you think it is and uh, what he thought it was was pretty hilarious. Um, so uh, putting uh, some definition in with ink now. Uh, I held off until I had the background in there just so it wouldn't bleed around and do anything you know, funny on me that I didn't want it to do. Uh, so yeah, I got the, the ring that uh, is part of the negative space, you know, just kind of defining the composition itself and, uh, you know, uh, bringing in some of the crowd with the ink as well as Brian's figure. Uh, overall, really happy with this piece and uh, it was well liked backstage too, so that's always a nice bonus. And there's the finished piece. Not bad. Got a couple things to know for you to check out. First, got three paintings that are coming up for the end of their bidding cycle tomorrow at auction.wwe.com. All of these are matted, uh, so that makes them frame ready, and the mats are signed by the subjects themselves. You can see here, Ryback, he rules. Also got one of uh, Big E that actually says Langston on it, one of the last things that's going to have that. Uh, this was done right after he won the Intercontinental Championship. And the WWE World Heavyweight Champion himself, Randy Orton, the Viper, signed by the St. Louis native himself. Don't miss out on this one. And keep an eye on auction.wwe.com tomorrow as three new paintings are gonna go up for you to bid on. And we're gonna get serious and then lighten it up. Uh, a lot of you might remember that back in April of last year, I was in a pretty serious accident on my way out to New Jersey for WrestleMania weekend. Got T-boned by a semi, destroyed all my paintings, a bunch of the prints. Uh, luckily, I walked out with just a scratch, so it's not a bad story. Uh, some of the prints were salvaged. Because I had replaced those at the show, and because they were limited edition, I held off on the ones that were salvaged, uh, just because, you know, uh, they were limited edition. But, uh, some of them did survive, and I thought, you know, it's been enough time, I'm gonna go ahead and put these back out on the market. Because they're, they all have a little bit of ding and damage on them, I'm taking $10 off of each one, so they're only $15 each, normally $25. And, and we're talking like small imperfections on these, like this one of this guy here, 
Let's see if the camera will even show it. See that little bit there at the corner there? If you frame and mat these like I tell you to, you won't even notice it. So you're really just getting a print for 10 bucks off. The, there's not a lot of these, so they're probably going to sell pretty quick. Don't miss out on them. They're at robshamburger.com slash store slash prints. Thanks.